Okay, hello guys, uh, so basically today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft mods. Uh, I'm going to show you where to download the mat, uh, where to install the mat on your computer, and, uh, basically just how to, I guess, uh, make them play on Minecraft. Uh, what you really need for this is Minecraft, a computer, and I guess basic typing knowledge. <laughs> okay, let's go at it, guys. <laughs> So basically, you're going to start out uh, with, I guess, a basic mod if this is your first time modding. Um, let's start off with an x-ray mod since it is very simple. All you have to do is just uh, find x-ray uh, X-ray mod on minecraftforum.net, which I will have in the description below. Uh, you're going to click uh, download. Uh, let's see here. Okay, not just download. Just left click it. Or not. Okay, this is... Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, so it is right there. Just in the case if you did not see it. <laughs> because I definitely did not. Uh, okay, so wait five seconds for ad fly. And skip ad. In case if you're wondering why the mod or the ad isn't popping up, I uh, mean. Ad block. Gotta love it. Okay, so you're going to open up x-ray, x-ray.jar, or .zip, I mean, and you're going to type into your search bar on uh, the start button, uh, percent, app, data, percent. Go into roaming, open up dot .minecraft, uh, go into bin, uh, double click Minecraft dot jar if you don't have WinRAR then you must uh, install it it is in the description below if you do need it if it's not uh, popping up for you or if it says jar executable you're going to right click Minecraft uh, WinRAR should say open with WinRAR so just do that and it should all work out as you can see uh, we have several files here uh, many files actually <laughs> Uh, you do not want Meta Imp. The first thing you do after a clean Minecraft install, which you do by going to Minecraft and forcing an update and logging in, the first thing you do whenever you're about to mod, delete Meta Imp. You do not want that. It gives you black screens, messes everything up, and it's just a pain. So you're going to drag the mod you want into Minecraft.jar. So drag all the class files into Minecraft.jar from X-Ray. And boom, you're ready to go. So, um, let's say you want a more, I guess, advanced mod, uh, like Minecraft Comes Alive. Uh, gonna ex uh, exit out of X-Ray. This one is gonna take a little bit more, um, effort, but <laughs> let me assure you, it is very easy. Very easy indeed. So, there's my assurance, people. Okay, so first of all, to get... Minecraft comes alive. Most mods, most advanced mods, will need Forge or Mod Loader. This one needs Forge, so we're going to uh, download Forge, which will be in the description as well. Okay, so while Forge is going on in AdFly, <laughs> uh, we're going to download Minecraft comes alive. Okay, skip add on Forge. Wait another three seconds. Okay. Skip out on Minecraft Comes Alive. And download it on Mediafire. And boom, we have both of the uh, both of the mods that we're going to need to run Minecraft Comes Alive. Which once again is an, uh, an advanced uh, mod. So, basically you're going to go into .minecraft once more. Open up Minecraft Forge. Okay, so there it is. See this meta inf? Do not delete it. You're going to need this, definitely. You're going to need this. Um, so, well, most mods, they will need meta inf, but not, uh, not I guess you can say, the vanilla version. They need their own meta inf, which will come with a mod. Do not delete any meta inf that comes with a mod. Only the, um, the uh, newly updated Minecraft's version of uh, meta inf. So you're going to drag Forge into dot, or Minecraft.jar. Okay, you're gonna press okay, and boom, 
you're done with minecraft.jar uh, you no longer need it so you're going to exit out of that exit out of minecraft forge you're gonna head back into dot minecraft uh, I'm just gonna exit out of these things I don't need okay so once you're in dot minecraft uh, we're going to get up minecraft comes alive close okay so basically most mods like this will tell you where they need to go into and uh, usually the things they need to go into are either minecraft.jar or uh, the mods resources or config folder if you don't have the mods folder you're just going to right click the background of uh, the dot minecraft folder create a new folder name it mods if you don't have the config folder you're going to do the same but make a new folder called config pretty simple uh, and so you're going to hover over each one and see which one needs which this one goes into the mods folder so you're going to double click it and drag the zip file into the mods folder easy uh, to go back and when we are you're going to double click uh, these little periods up there uh, and then you're going to go into the config folder or the uh, the place contents into the config folder and you're going to drag this into the config folder which uh, I don't know if it's very necessary but I put a capital on that. You might want to change that if you did the same. I don't know if uh, it's case sensitive, but you never know. And uh, there we go. We have uh, we have the two mods installed. So um, <clears throat> they should be working now. If they don't, comment below. Uh, message me on YouTube if you want. But uh, yeah, that's the tutorial. I hope you guys uh, achieve something from this. <laughs> hope you guys had you know. Uh, success with this and if you guys have any other questions comment below see you guys later